Welcome back guys to the channel. What's up? It's Mikesterism. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing some Resident Evil 2. We're gonna go right into this. Um, let's do this. <laughs> Before we do this, sub right down below and hit that notification icon. I do upload five days a week. Um, probably not every week like I always say. Uh, just in case I might miss a week where I don't do five and I maybe do three, but I'm trying to get it from three to five. I used to do four, then I then I went down to three, and now I'm trying to do five. So we're trying to step it up. So um, let's go right into this. Like I said, you know, do that stuff. And also comment down below any games you guys like to see in the future, since I do like new games, you know. Basics of survival. I got some new unluckables. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. All right, all right. Let's. Go. Okay. Um. I I did mention this on the first time I was playing. Um. Um. But like, the first time that I was playing, that I messed up the audio and everything. And also, if you haven't watched any of the last episode, blink should be up there. All right. So, right now, I have the sheriff costume on him. And for her, I have the normal. Since I'm, I haven't played as her anyway. But, okay. There's his Nora costume. It looks whew, bomb. The only problem. When you put on the Nora costume, guess what it does to the game? Makes it black and white. Why? Why would you do this? I mean, probably in the future I might play this again in the Noor. Just to make it a little more, uh... I don't know. Exciting. But it just really kills me that Noor does, like, affects the actual game. Like, why... Why do that? It makes no sense. Alright. Whatever. Alright. Yeah, and for her to look, she has the Nor again, looks bomb. Military looks okay. This one also looks good. But Nor is bomb, but it does the. I, I mean, then again, I don't really know. But it most likely does the same thing, so I'm just like, why why do that? Why why do that? Whatever, let's go right in. I'm sorry, I just had to just get that off my mind real quick. Alright, so here we are. I saved it here last time. So this time we got the key. The key to all key things. Alright. Uh, we got this attachable for Matilda, which automatically gave us half. Uh, gave us 12 bullets, which was very, very nice. Very nice. So um, I gotta remember to not use, when I use these 12 bullets, to change over to this one and not reload. Because I don't want to use this one. I want to use the Samurai Edge. Do it only has 15 shots. I reload after every shot. Uh, I mean, not after every shot, but you know, like if he's down on the ground, I'm gonna go real quick. But yeah, we got the spade key. Um, he said to go to the east to meet up with Claire or whatever, but I'm looking at the map and I'm like, uh, there's nowhere to go east. I can't get into here. So yeah, this one told me it's a spade door. None of these are telling me it's a spade door. If I go downstairs, it's not telling me like, oh, this is a skate. I could have went through there. I just noticed that. Um, is there a below floor? No, it's the third floor. So I'm guessing this goes to the next. Okay, uh, actually, I'm going to go in here real quick and see that. Okay, so we haven't gone in here since the first episode. So let's do this. Wait, can we can we go back in? I think it's shut for good. Uh, okay, I don't know then. All right, so then we're just gonna go upstairs then and go into that spade key door. The only problem that I have right now is that I only have one space left. So, what I'm going to do is, um, 
put this away. Hopefully, in. I don't know if I open that door. Like, can I open this door right away without the key? Or do I need the key again? Okay, I can open it without the key. I like how it gets dark even though there's like a light over here. It makes no sense. So if I go unlock the door, and I come down, I put the key back into the case, and then I go up there. I would have two slots open. You know, because the more slots, the better. Alright, let's go back downstairs and put this key away. So, I put that key away. So we got three spots open. Let's make good use of it. It's a nicely lit place. A red book. Oh goodness, we gotta take it. I thought it was just like some reading material. Is this guy still alive? I hope not. Of course he is. He's after me now, too. He bit me. The mofo. We're going to go over here. And hit triangle. And use the first aid. I love how we used it, like, right away. wait for them hopefully all three of them don't come now what the hell are you dead what the oh crap they're both alive They're all dead. No, 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 no. I re freaking loaded. Didn't it say it was going to bring it up to 25? Whatever. Um, we need the thing to lift this up to go into another room or something. Jack, yeah, it brings you to somewhere. Come up again. I missed. I missed again. You did. Look at how that looks, though. Fudge, I missed two times. Let me not reload. Do not reload. You don't like this weapon. This weapon sucks. Ugh. Another guy got up. The fat dude. You bastard. What the? You too, my boy? I think you're next, right? Shit. Mm hmm. Bye bye. Thank you. Alright. Is there anything else around here? It goes to the second floor. That's anything. All right. Uh, oh, well, we're on the second floor. to so the third floor. All right, and the unicorn. We already know uh, what this is, right? Oh, we got some more schematics for the upper floors. Oh, very nice, very nice. All right. So we need the jack here. This is the safe. And, oh, this is a spade door here. Oh, so we can go over there, actually. That is very nice. And what's this? A combat knife. I did not see that. Um, what is this? Um, gunpowder? Fish, lobster, basting. <laughs> basting. There you go. <clears throat> Yay. Okay, I got two spots open. Lift. Okay, we can't go in there. I'm honestly, kind of relieved. Alright. 
What's this? Combat knife. Nice. Thank you. Very much. Arigato. Kosaima. Okay. There is another floor. There is another floor. And there's more rooms over here. Okay, wait. These link to that other... You up again, my boy. Son of a bitch. Thank you. I think you're dead now. All right. Wait. Okay, now looking at it, I think... No, it's, it's another place. I don't know. I'm confused. Probably once you get this, you open... I, I don't know. No, this was the shower. Okay, yeah, I was confused. I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, there is a third floor. You can climb up this ladder and whatever. But uh, do I want to do that? I have one space left. I mean, I guess I can. And I'm like out of ammo. I mean, not out of ammo. I have uh, like how much? A couple left. I have a 19 left. Okay, let's check. This, can we... Okay, so it looks like there's a door here to the main hall, third floor. And then from here, we can look at the clock tower. And here's the west storage room. Alright. Uh, let's look around the first, uh, second floor real quick. So this is a nice little room. That scared the crap out of me. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, I'm just gonna go the normal way. All right, all right. Yeah, not the ladder. No one likes ladders. I don't know. All right. So there's a nice big uh, space there. Can I like jump over it or something? I think we probably jump over it from over here. Okay, there's that. Can I, like, jump over? Like a jump over command. Like Resident Evil 4. Uh, well, no. Okay, um. Is that? No, that's not a herb. Um. The map really helps, let me just say that. So there's a room here and there's a room over there, though there's a gap in the floor, so we need to find a way to get there. So here's the west storage room here, if I can open it. Yep. And I, I don't like this right off the bat. Oh, I got the plank, which is the last item I could hold. What else is here? That is some gunpowder. Good for making some ammo. I, I like that they did that, too. Um, do I want to go that far? Oh, wait, so this... The, oh, okay, this is the hallway that I didn't want to go past. That I was just like, no. I was just like, no, I'm done. I don't want to go anymore. All right, so there's some gunpowder here, some wooden boards. All right, so that's cool that it kind of shows you where the stuff is, especially when you have such a small um, inventory that you can hold things in. Wait, how much space do I have? I have one. I think ammo is the most important. So we're going to take that. But we're going to explore this room a little more. Just in case there's more stuff there. C4. Alright, I don't I don't know. So I got a combat gun. I figure that's kind of slightly used. Alright. Uh, some guy's scribblings. <clears throat> they have those corporate a-holes. They cut me off. After all, I've done for them. But that's not how whatever. I My goodness, so much story time. I boarded all these 50 pigs up in a steel pen and set some C4. All I gotta do is detonate it. And it said, wait, it's cyanara suckers. But it's no fun if it's over too soon. So maybe I'll give that one uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll let this little toy kill the guy next to you and I'll spare the others. I wonder what he'll do. 
Yell justice prior, blah, 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 blah. Good cop, bad cop. I don't know what it's talking about. Alright, um, what's this? Looks like a bag of sorts. A hip pouch. Yes! I think the other thing that I found was a hip pouch also. So, can I only hold these two? Yeah, I can hold two extra items. It's pretty cool. My question is, does it show? Is it like, yeah, you can see it. And it shows like two little things. Okay. So, I can go pick up these two things that I was going to pick up here. Um, it's still unrealistic because really you can't hold that in your pocket. In that little pocket. Okay. And this too. Like I said, I don't want them to go to the next area, honestly. Okay. Yeah, I don't. There's an explosive barricade there. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. But, uh... I'm gonna go back into the library, go down the stairs, and, uh, we'll see what we do from there. Yeah, I guess I'll just, uh, meet you there. So I think what goes on here is you can actually push these. Wait. Hold this a little more. Can we go one more? No, let's go one more this way. Alright. There's one missing in the middle. Let's hold this one. Alright. So I guess, I don't know what this one is for. I guess we have to, okay, we have to set it down so it sits on the track so we can move it. And then so once we have all three, I don't think we need all four. But once we have all three, we can walk across it. Alright. That's pretty cool. I just need to find that last piece there. Alright. Yeah, let's head out. Right, uh, so let's store some gunpowder. I don't like that it doesn't stack. That really annoys me. Okay, I got the unicorn medallion, which I'll use now. It's a key item, which I don't know what that's used for right now, so I'll get that later. And I have one of these wooden boards. And I got these. Okay, yeah, right. So I got this. And oh, wait, no, I didn't mean to put that combat knife away. Alright, right, okay. Actually, last thing, I need the spade key. To go open that door. Actually, I don't know why I put that away. I can actually use that right now. Put it there. And get rid of it. I wonder if... I don't think there's... I wonder if there's like a max amount of stuff you can store in here. I do like that, though, that you can store things. Because, like... In Resident Evil 4, you were just, like, stuck. And I do like this thought because it's kind of different. I've never... Like I said, I've only played, like, two Resident Evil. So, this is kind of cool. It's, like, a, a little different twist. Alright, I don't know what that noise was. It's, like, a different twist. It's kind of cool. Is that in the game or in real life? I'm confused. I'm I'm terrified right now. All right. Um. What was I? Oh, because the statues are here. Also, all going all the way to the top. All right. So we need the last one. I guess once we do that, it's gonna unlock the last thing is. Just going to be able to go down or something. It's probably going to lift or something. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I can unlock this door here. In the, uh... I just wonder how the safes work. Because it looks like there's a couple of safes. But, um... I don't know. Do I have to, like, find the code or something? Like, I don't know. Alright. 
organized items discarding key items you can discard items that have served their purpose or any other key items with a check mark by selecting the discard command okay so I'm not gonna need it anymore is basically what's going on so it has a check mark which means I'm never gonna need it again that's pretty cool all right I don't think the other one had a check mark the one from the gas station but I me, mean, I'm pretty sure we're not going back to the gas station anytime. Does it work like a real lock, I guess? I don't know. I just tried every single combination. I don't know how that works. I swear I'm hearing all these sounds. We're gonna end it here again. Hopefully, by tomorrow, I'm gonna be recording some more of this. Uh, my voice is straight. I might be reporting more of this tomorrow. I might wait till like Sunday or something. I don't know. Cause I'm not. I, I don't want to like uh, just like kill this whole game in, in two days or something or in one sitting either. Okay, but guys, uh, do subscribe down below. I am ending the video here. That's weird. I don't know. <laughs> no, and uh, put on the notifications icon. Uh, click on it or whatever. Tap it. Flick it. Lick it. I don't know. And 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 uh, sma smash the like button if you did enjoy the video. Comment down below if you have any games that you guys like to see me play. I'm always into new games. Um, very interesting in that. Okay, and uh, uh, literally any ideas you guys have for videos, I totally take that. All right. Uh, so I think I'm done here. Sayonara. Kosaima. Peace.